for those who have been following Telltale for a while, I did an episode about Mengo Palace, which belongs to the Buganda Kingdom. Today, I take you to another historical site called the Kasubi Tombs, which belongs to the Buganda Kingdom. This site is where the royal family members of the Buganda Kingdom were laid to rest. So what's up my people, this is yet another episode and today I'm taking you to another historical site. It's called the Kasubi Tombs. This is a um, royal place and as you can see the way I am dressed, I need to cover up all, I need to cover my body because uh, apparently you need to put on a decent clothing when you're coming here. So for those who wish to come to this place, please make sure you're decent, especially the ladies. Maybe put on something baggish that doesn't show any of your body parts. Yeah, so let's take a look. This particular gate is only accessed by the king, invited guests and some royal family members. Kasubi Tombs is as old as 132 years. It was constructed in 1882. This house is called the Royal Guard House, in which one has to go through to access the main house. The main house was once a palace for the king, that is Mutesa I. When he died, or rather disappeared, it was turned into a burial place. In 2010, the main house got burnt and it's currently under renovations. The main house has four kings who were buried intact. In the past, their heads were chopped off and buried separately. The king of Buganda Kingdom remains influential for the Buganda people. The current king, Kabaka Mutebi, visits the tomb but on rare occasions. When the king visits the tombs, he ceases to be king and becomes a prince. The village is more than a burial ground. Each of these grass huts houses the artifacts of Uganda royalty. The Buganda Kingdom is believed to be a thousand years old and each of these rings represents a clan. The kingdom has a total of 52 clans and each of these clans have a role to play in the protection of the royal tombs. Kasubi Tombs is ranked as one of the top six World Heritage Sites in East Africa. Naomi Wanjala, Telatel reports. Don't be